Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another video. How's everybody doing today? I'm Ann Blackwood, your Silicon Valley Sage Sister, here to bring consciousness to the forefront of your daily life to make life a little kinder and simpler. So just the other week, I did a spiritual hygiene webinar, workshop. And between that and the video that I do about we are what we consume, and that includes the clothing we wear, I have gotten some questions about how we can better incorporate our clothing we wear on a daily basis into our spiritual practice. So I thought to myself, that would be a great video. <laughs> so here we are. <clears throat> so for instance, in my spiritual hygiene workshop, I talk about specific ritual items that I wear both on a ritualistic basis and a daily basis. But we can also just, in how we pick out our regular everyday clothing, do so with intention all the way down to the colors we wear or just what it is we choose to wear. So, you know, for instance, in the Kara tradition, everything down to the way they weave their clothing is a spiritual representation. But you can go from as complicated as that to as simple as just having the color you choose to wear on any given day be a representation of the vibrations you are trying to embody. The care, in the Kara tradition, they, men and women, have different items of clothing that they wear that is a representation of their spiritual practice. So women wear shields. I show mine in my actual ritual shield in my spiritual hygiene workshop. And the women wear theirs every day. This scarf is my everyday version of my actual ritual shield. You guys have seen me wear this before, if you've seen my videos before. <clears throat> and the men wear these brown ponchos that are a representation of their reverence for the mountains, as they call them the Apus, because the mountains in their tradition are such an integral part of how we connect with the cosmos and the greater spiritual energies that literally their outermost clothing, depending on what ritual they're doing or what they're doing in their daily, daily lives, they're either going to have their brown ponchos, which are a representation of the Apus, or their black ponchos that are representations of the Apus but the brown and the black are worn depending on how much they want, how much they want or need to absorb energy. And I'm gonna get to that very soon. Another great example of clothing worn with intention on the other side of the spectrum with white is in Santeria, they have a whole year of white for their initiates because white is a reflecting color and also a symbol of purity. And we'll get a little more into that as well. Everything down to Buddhist monks and the way they wear their clothes and the colors they choose are all done with intention. And we can do this with our daily wardrobe with picking the colors that we choose. So for instance, I regularly wear white on top and black on the bottom. And that is, as I said, if you think about it, because white being a reflective energy, not only is reflecting the light, the, the vibrational energy from within me, 
it also is used as a way to reflect back any energy directed at someone. That's one of the big reasons why white is chosen. Uh, you know, I mean, if you think about it, all sorts of spiritual traditions have their priests and priestesses wearing white and it's because of its reflective quality. Not only when it comes to reflecting what's within, but as well allowing you to be protected because it reflects energy back at whatever is reflecting it at you. As where black is an absorbing color and absorbs energy. So that's why I wear white on top and black on the bottom because I wanna be reflecting from all of my other chakras and absorbing from my root chakra. When it comes to the other colors we choose, a great way to think about it once again is the chakras, red and orange being great grounding root chakra colors as where yellow being a more reflective color as we start working up the line. We have green at the heart chakra being great for loving as well as still grounding because we're in the middle there. And then we have the blue, indigo, and violet colors. And really as well, if you think about it, you can have those colors be still reflective as well, the lighter you go, or the more absorbing, the darker you go. And even, you know, picking your clothes with intention, even if it's just a matter of opening your closet, tapping into your intuition, and saying, what do I want to wear today? What do what energy do I want to vibrate today? Even that is doing it with intention. As long as you're not doing it on autopilot from the moving center, you're going to be doing it with intention because tapping into that intuition and saying, what do I feel like wearing today? Even if it's not as complicated as saying, okay, you know, I know this color has this frequency and so I wanna reflect that. You can even just say, you know what? I have this favorite t-shirt. It's a band t-shirt. It makes me feel really good. I want to feel that way today. I want to feel the vibe of wearing this shirt today. That is picking your clothing with intention just as much as anything else. Depending on how much you want to incorporate your clothing choice into your spiritual practice, there are all sorts of levels in which you can go about doing so. And that's kind of what I love about the fact that we are what we consume all the way down to what we wear because the more we can do things with intention in general, the better off we are. As I say, when the whole human system is healthy, happiness comes naturally. And one of the ways that that happens is by just doing more of what you do throughout the day with intention rather than doing it on autopilot. And I know that can seem hard for some people, but really it's just a matter of allowing that thinking to go on in the forefront of the conscious rather than the background of the subconscious because it's happening whether or not you slow down to recognize it or not. It's happening whether you allow it to move up into your intellectual and emotional centers or allow them moving in the instinctual centers to do it for you. So yeah, if there's one thing you can do to raise your vibration, as I say, raise your light quotient is another way of putting it. A great way to do that is through taking the time to choose your clothing with intention. And there are many ways to do that, including just considering your spiritual traditions and how they wear colors and wear certain things like this scarf, for instance, was made by my spiritual mentor's wife. So I can wear it as a shield without having to wear my ritual shield that I wear in ritual 
in the Karo tradition that I practice. There's all sorts of fun ways in which we can find different things to just add that little more, well, that's not what I meant to say. <laughs> there are lots of fun ways in which we can incorporate our spiritual practice and our spiritual traditions into our daily lives in all sorts of fun ways. And clothing, clothing is just one of the ways in which we can do that. So thank you guys for joining me for another video. May the energy you serve, serve you well. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the links in the description, including Patreon, where you can find my spiritual hygiene workshop, as well as the free bi-monthly energy update that I just put out for the new moon today. I've got my email, which is going out for my monthly mailing list tomorrow. I do one email a month, that's it. And that's how you find out about all of the free things that I do throughout the month, including meditations and workshops before they go up on Patreon. And last but definitely not least, the other link that is in there, including my email, is if you're really ready to heal, grow, and expand, I wanna help you do that. Like I said, when the whole human system is healthy, happiness comes naturally. And the way we do that is through building the foundation from which to build upon, whether we do that spiritually or practically. And like I said, I wanna help you do that. May the energy you serve serve you well, and let's keep making our way through.